Hi, we just saw the lobster. The lobster. What a movie. Very tasty. This movie was unique. Yes. <laughs> Bless you. Different? Very different. I mean... Well acted? Well acted. Colin Farrell. Uh, what's her name? Kira Knightley? Yeah. It was done by a Greek director, Yorgos. I can't pronounce his last name. Yeah. Different point of view than any movie that, that I've seen recently. Colin Farrell, Rachel Wise. Yes. Anyone else we recognize? John C. Riley. John C. Riley. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He was funny. Yes. Now, this movie, uh, it takes a while to, after you come right out, you're like, what the hell did I just see? This is. And then you start to think about it, and then you start to put in things, and it was very archetypal. <laughs> I, you know, look. It was, I think the movie was about two hours long, and you felt the two hours. Um, you know, the performances, while they were very good, it was very dry and monotone. Yeah. And while there were many humorous parts, it didn't quite have the rhythm what you're used to. It's definitely a slow rhythm to the movie. Nothing's happening quickly. Even the action seems to take a long time. So, you know... I appreciate it for its uniqueness. I appreciate it for its writing. I appreciate it for its creativity. I mean, in case you don't know, it's about people in relationships that break up out of relationships have 45 days to get into a relationship where they're transformed into an animal. And you get to pick the animal. You get to pick the animal. That you transformed into. And you get to share the reasons why, right? The movie lets you share the reasons why you picked what animal you picked. So... You know, hilarity ensues. I mean, it's, you know, one begs to wonder, like, why wouldn't everyone just lie and say that they're in love? But you, they won't. So let's just go on the ride, right? And then if you get caught in a lie, apparently what happens to you is they just, they rush the procedure. You cease to have 45 days. Also, there's like the thing where you hunt people that are single. And if you bring in the single people... You, you get another day. You get extra days. <laughs> you get 45 days, you could add a day to it by bringing in a single person yeah. to, the, to the hotel. So the movie is very dry, yet it's, there's a lot of, like, violence in it. Like, gory, like, seeing dead animals, um, seeing people slow motion punch someone in the face. They also went back to sort of... I mean, it was consistent throughout the movie, but there would be all like during the action sequences, you slow everything down, slow motion. Uh, the, the the actors and the people would talk in slow motion, and then there would be like classical music playing in the background. So I mean, literally, this movie could put you to bed. I actually did fall asleep, <laughs> and Ian nudged me and woke me up. I didn't even realize he was sleeping, and I didn't miss anything. <laughs> Yeah. So. There was nothing really to be missed. I mean, a lot of... I, th I think the basic metaphors that existed in this movie, and if, you know, if this is too much information for you, you can turn off now because it might spoil something for you, but I think basic metaphors were if you are... If you are single, you're an animal. And relationships is what what makes us human beings. So if you're going to be alone, then you're basically no better than an animal. And then the other theme was love is blind, quite literally. <laughs> and and there there were these things like, oh, I have I get bloody noses and you get bloody noses, therefore we should be together. Which makes sense, right? Well, I, it makes no sense, but I think the metaphor, it, that is the metaphor. The metaphor is people with like, uh, you know, similar, like the people that like similar things or people that deal with similar things should be together. So, all right, that's a lot about this really weird, bizarre, unique, well acted, well shot, pretty movie. Um, but with all that being said, it, would you would you tell people to go see this movie? No. <laughs>
wait, wait for the wait DVD for, yeah, cable. Wait for cable. And then you can pause it when you start to fall asleep. And <laughs> come back up. All right, and what would you give it out of 100? Oh, God. 80. You give it an 80, but no, don't go see it? Uh, well, uh, it was original. You know, it, you, you, you haven't seen any movie like this. Ever. Ever. This is this is out there where you just out there. You there's I've never seen a movie like I'm sixty six, I've never seen a movie like remotely like this. So I I would recommend you go see if you want to see something unusual and something that's upsetting and then walk out there and say, you know what? After about an hour later you'll say, That wasn't bad that movie. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm gonna give it a a, a seventy, uh, and that's I think I'm being generous. I mean, you know, while all those things are true, all the uniqueness is true, all the acting, all the creativity, all the writing, all the shot selection, everything was really good and cool. It just, you know, one of the things is you gotta enjoy the movie you're seeing, <laughs> and if you're not enjoying the story if the story is like yo hurry up hurry hurry up I, you know come on and maybe that's just me and maybe that's where i need to develop my own you know fandom and the big splash same thing uh, the movie we saw last week's big splash anyway that's it listen watch more reviews thank you for watching Share my reviews with your friends. If you want to come see a movie with me, let me know. I want to see movies with you. I want to bring you, put you on these reviews. I love you. Thanks. Bye.